Hi, this is Sean from Restabilization Creations, and I wanted to give you guys an update on the new Zeobit reactor when I got it started. I know I said I would give you an update in about 10 days, um, but I got it up and running quickly because I figured it would just help the process um, for the new fish that I mentioned that I got. So I did have one problem that arise. My Supernight LED strips that I put inside the sump, I took the, the power supply and I mounted it to my board next to my apex next to another power supply and it overheated it. Um, so it popped and now I had to order a new one and that is not the company's fault, that's my fault. But I wanted to show you the reactor. This is the Aquamax. Um, I don't know if you can see it that well. I just have a little, sorry about that. I just have a little um, flashlight illuminating the sump, so it's kind of hard to see. Uh, I'll bring it in a little closer. But they have an adjustment for the flow. I've been dosing the proper dosage of uh, Zeo Start 3 and the Zeo Sponge Power. It's not Zeo, but Sponge Power and the Zeo Back. Um, I dose twice a day. Uh, I looked at a, the Zeo Vit online regiment for a 90 gallon tank, and I, this is the second day it's been running. I've been shaking the, shaking the media a little bit inside. Like I said, I didn't have a lot of room in here. So to shake the media twice a day, to agitate it, to feed the corals, to get the bio process going. The, the other thing I wanted to show you, but you can't see very well, is the Vertex skimmer in the back. I finally got it dialed in. It's been two days and it's, it's going right where it's supposed to be. I'm not getting any skim mate yet because there's no there's no protein in the water. I only have one fish and he's, I've been feeding him very lightly so there's probably no protein whatsoever. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a little bit more rock in here maybe tomorrow or the next day just to, from downstairs. But so far so good. The little fish is in there. He just popped his head out where I'm flashing the light right now. Um, but you can't see that. Um, and that's the update. So this is the second day of the Zeo vet. I wanted to give you guys a good, a good, um, uh, many updates on the Zeo vet. The Zeo vet's going to take some time to get it adjusted. I'm new at Zeo vet. I'll have to do a lot of testing. I did use the Hanna checker. I used the Hanna checker for phosphate. I didn't like it. The way you have to open the packets and dump it in to, it seems like you're miss, not using enough, all the powder. So I think I'm going to go back to the Red Sea test kits. I'll keep them, but I'm not going to use them. I'm going to go back to Red Sea. It's, to, to me, it's a lot more precise. You can see exactly what you're adding to check, to check the test. Um, but I'm going to have to test a lot more for Zeovit, make sure the parameters, especially alkalinity, are right on. Also, the potassium, I was told potassium, you have to check that a lot. I have to get a potassium test kit. Obviously, I don't have any corals in here yet, so it doesn't make a difference. Um, but in the next couple of weeks, probably by next weekend, so I'm counting down seven days, I'll have, I'll put a Montipora in here and we'll see what happens. But I just wanted to give you the update before, even though you can't really see it, that I am starting the Zeo bet. Okay, so this is Reef Stabilization Creations, and I'm Sean, and I hope you enjoy the videos. Thank you.